All right, good morning. So this is the last day I'll be here. In fact, I'm actually leaving very shortly. So last morning, I suppose. Uh, I'm just heading back down to the uh, uh, ball mill site. Um, just do the last little round round, as I see over here. So, um, yeah, so in terms of how it went, testing out the gold cube, they gave me a pile of, uh, of waste sand, basically, like a, of tailings to put through the gold cube. And it did recover a significant amount of gold, at least according to them. They said it was a lot. And uh, the good news is that the gold cube, I still, the, 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 the setup we have is we put the gold cube and we put these dream mats underneath. It's, it's really, it's not, it's not ideal. Uh, the gold cube is not using the electric water pump that's supplied. Uh, so we were using the water supply of, uh, of the site and that water supply, you know, it kind of, it's, it's intermittent, it has air pockets, so it's not ideal. But, um, <clears throat> that being said, uh, yeah, that being said, the gold cube was able, it was captured, I'd, I'd say like 98% of the gold, the dream mat captured 2% and I was not able to find any gold in the uh, in the waste, so I think that's great news. They're not using the gold cube yet, at least you know, just because uh, you know they got their system going. I'm pretty sure you know for them it's it requires a certain amount of faith and and uh, you know I mean let's just say they have their system set up and you know they're they're trying to get gold as fast as possible so. If they're not really aware of the benefits of the gold cube, they're probably going to continue using their system for a while until the gold cube gets tested properly. So, um, Pops, he did say that that's, a, that's what the plan is. Like, you know, once, once they have a bit more time, now everybody is kind of rushing for Christmas, trying to get as much gold as possible. And um, so that's it. So in terms of not using mercury, you know, with the snuffer bottles and all that, it's, unfortunately, it's not going to happen. I don't think it's going to. It's, it's going to happen right now, just because the mercury. I mean, right in, in the gold over here, it's filled with pyrite, and you know, it's for the most part, it's easy to detect which one's pyrite, which one's not. But sometimes, sometimes it, it can get confusing. And so the way the system works here is that uh, they don't have a smelter to be able to smelt the gold and and remove the impurities. I mean, the smelter, they do have a smelter, but it's like, it's all the way in town. And so for the miners, the miners sell the gold here on site. And so uh, the mercury plays an important factor in making sure that they're only selling gold and not any impurities. And by impurities, I mean large impurities. Obviously the gold itself is not 100% pure either. Uh, last I checked, the gold here was 94% pure had 5% silver and trace amounts of platinum and copper and stuff like that. So, but anyway, so yeah, so large impurities get removed by the mercury. So as bad as, ba as, bad, it is, as bad as it is, uh, yeah, you know, they're not seeing the direct effects of the mercury. So, uh, so yeah, so it's gonna have to wait. I think, I think honestly, at this point, I think the equipment was useful, one, in that, you know, it could help them recover gold faster and recover more gold than their current uh, setup. I think also it was a good kind of gesture of friendship, you know, because uh, the, the fact of the matter is I had lost contact with Pops for several years, for, you know, for many years, for 13 years. So, yeah, this, the, the gold cube was kind of a gesture of, you know, everything's okay. Here's something to prove it. And um, so I think the gold cube was, is useful for it in that sense, but it's, I don't think it's gonna be useful right now in terms of eliminating mercury. So the real way to eliminate the mercury is going to be to invite the Apple group, the Apple organization, Apple Global. They use, uh, they, they've teamed up with some Filipino miners and uh, they go around the world teaching the method of, the, of these Filipino miners that does not use, merc uh, doesn't use mercury at all. 
and uh, it just uses a little bit of borax at the end to lower the melting point of the gold so they got, they're able to smelt the gold on site and uh, according to them it actually captures more gold too. Anyway, here I've arrived so I guess that's the end of the story.